Ireland is effectively powerless in the face of the EU's concerted bullying over post-Brexit fishing rights, with resentment against Brussels steadily building as a result, a former diplomat has warned, and Ray Bassett said the bloc's attitude is indicative of a cold indifference, which illustrates how peripheral Dublin's interests have become in the wake of Brexit. Mr. Bassett, Ireland's former ambassador to Canada, Jamaica and the Bahamas, was speaking after the chief executive of the Irish Fish Processors and Exporters Association, condemned a decision to suspend rules which previously permitted Irish fishermen to weigh their catches away from ports. Mr. Byrne asked for Brussels to present it with the evidence of rule breaches it said it had uncovered involving underreporting of catches, while calling on Charlie McConnellog, Ireland's Minister for the Marine, to stand up for the industry. However, Mr. Bassett, a leading Irish Eurosceptic and advocate of a so-called Erexit, suggested a tough stance from Dublin was unlikely. He told Express, the penalty that the EU Commission has imposed on the Irish fishing fleet is just the latest measure to undermine the industry. It is absolutely outrageous that they have imposed this draconian measure without outlining in any way the detailed charges or given examples of any suspected illegalities. The real crime here is the expropriation of the bulk of Ireland's fisheries resources by Brussels and then giving them to Spanish, French, Dutch, etc. interests. It is estimated that Ireland has lost hundreds of millions of euro in catches and downstream processing from the Common Fisheries Policy, CFP. No wonder that Euroscepticism is strong among Irish fishermen. Mr. Bassett outlined his concerns about his country's treatment by Brussels in last year's book, Ireland and the EU Post-Brexit, and he suggested the European Commission, led by President Ursula von der Leyen, was guilty of double standards. He explained, Brussels would not dare take similar action against the French or the Spanish. They know that the present Irish government does not have the political will to oppose Brussels, even when the EU have clearly acted against Ireland's interests. As for Mr. McConnellog himself, he said, I have no doubt that the fisheries minister Charlie McConnellog would love to stand up to Brussels on this issue on behalf of his constituents in Donegal. But he knows he would get little support within government.